they're scary, and they don't like to share. Will the hefty hippopotamus shut it all down with a snap of her jaws? Or will the rhinoceros horn in and stab his way to the top? The watering hole isn't big enough for the both of them. It's Hippo versus Rhino today on Versus. Coming to you live from the ring, it's another sweltering South African day. Our competitors seem to have the same idea when it comes to beating the heat. The rhino fails to notice his proximity to a trio of hippo calves. And their protective mom isn't too pleased about it. She decides it's time to end the rhino's spa day. The hippo glides towards her foe, with her ears, eyes, and nostrils facing up rather than out. She is able to remain mostly hidden underwater. The watering hole is silent for now. Sensing that her babies are in danger, Mama Hippo stealthily approaches her target. The rhino, relaxing in his mud mask, doesn't suspect anything. The hippopotamus charges forward, her tusks and teeth bared, and she punctures the rhino's thick skin. The rhino recoils in shock, slumping against the shore. Ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. Our first fighter has a flair for the dramatic. You don't want to get anywhere near a hippopotamus when it's having a bad day. These vicious vegetarians weigh in at up to 1,800 kilograms and reach lengths of 4.2 meters from nose to tail. Both the common and pygmy species of this semi-aquatic mammal live near slow-moving water south of the Sahara Desert in Africa. Hippos are best known for their cavernous jaws filled with 36 dagger-like teeth. Plus, their mouths open up to a 150 degree angle. Eh, you'd be wise to keep your distance. Able to lurk beneath the surface for five minutes straight, the hippo catches her enemy off guard and sinks him into the murky water. But is her sneak attack enough to take down the world's second largest land animal? The rhinoceros doesn't like surprises and Unfortunately for him, his weak eyesight fails to alert him to danger until it's too late. Thrashing against his attacker, the rhino attempts to overpower her with his gigantic size. He plans to use his greatest weapon, his signature horn, but he'll have to rein in his rival's rage first. The hippo holds on tightly, furiously pinning down the rhino with her solid ivory tusks. The rhino manages to free himself, pushing his massive weight against the hippo and toppling her, exposing the weaker skin around her belly. If he can move this match back to land and charge, his opponent won't stand a chance. With their huge bodies, armor-like skin, and intimidating horns, rhinos stick to a plant-based diet and aren't often challenged in the wild. There are five species of rhino. The largest, Africa's white rhino, weighs a whopping 3,500 kilograms and measures four and a half meters from head to tail. Its horn, or two or three of them, can reach up to 150 centimeters long. All rhino species are endangered. A solitary and generally passive animal, the biggest threat to the rhino is, well, us. Rhinos attack humans less than two times per year, and they don't usually kill us. But poachers extensively hunt rhinos for their keratin horns, which some traditional medicines use. Without their horns, rhinos are more vulnerable. This rhino has his trusty horn intact, and he's ready to bring pain to his attacker. The heavyweight hippopotamus recovers, 
rolling her barrel-like body around and regaining her balance in the shallow water. The rhino lets out a warning snort and flashes his horn. He's clearly angry about his luxurious mud bath getting cut short. The hippo lets loose her best dominance yawn, which looks a lot more terrifying than it sounds. She unhinges her cavernous jaw and shows off her lethal tusks. The hippo strikes again. Chomping down hard on the rhino's neck, she wounds him. Securing him tightly, she submerges his head under the water. Whoa, what a takedown! The hippopotamus wins! Talk about having a short fuse. Hippos are responsible for 500 human deaths each year, validating their status as a serious threat. The rhino may outweigh and outrun the hippo, but her outrage is another story, especially when it's paired with her brutal fight force of 12,600 kilopascals. Though the rhino recovered after his rival's first strike and delivered a blow of his own, the hippo still had something he didn't. A motive. As a mother, she protects her young from anything that could be a threat, including a rhinoceros. And the hippo's aggressive nature fueled her fury. Had the rhino relocated the match from the water to the land, his tackle speed of 56 kilometers per hour and deadly horn would have won the fight. But in the water, the hippo used the familiar territory to her advantage, strategically forcing the rhino's head under the water to knock him out or drown him. Now the hippo train doesn't stop here. How would the hippo fare against the swamp-dwelling crocodile? Well, we'll see who wins on another round of Versus. <laughs>